And right now, I don't even know what I want to talk about. There's a variety of things that I feel like I'd like to talk about. But at the same time, I don't know whether I'm ready because the internet is like a dark, cruel space. So, welcome back because it has been a while. As you will have noticed, today is not a cover. And I don't know if I'll be doing covers for a long time. Just because I haven't been feeling very songful. I think that's the word. I think songful is the word. Um, and right now I don't even know what I want to talk about. There's a variety of things that I feel like I'd like to talk about. But at the same time, I don't know whether I'm ready because the internet is like a dark cruel space and not only that you're just being very vulnerable with um, strangers that you will never meet um, and yet they will feel free to post their opinions about you um, so that's where I'm at so let's start with who I am Actually, let's not because I don't even know the question to that. Obviously, my name is Shiro, Shiro W. Mwangi, and it is currently the 25th of November. I'm actually excited. I want to see Billie Eilish's um, Vanity Fair, you know, two years later interview. Um, and it's a Monday, and currently it is 11.24. And I'm just sitting here with my Kenyan tea, Ketepa. To all you Kenyans out there, this is Ketepa full cream. Because we don't mix water and milk. We don't want that diluted stuff. Anyway, I've just come from swimming and I was about to... Yeah, let's talk about food. Actually, that's a great topic to talk about. Um... I just came from swinging at, uh, actually I'm not going to reveal that information, delete. I went swimming and it's so problematic because their website said 8.30, I get there around 9 and we're being told it opens at 10. I'm just like, really people, really? But my mom, with her words, managed to, you know, squeeze me in there into their schedule where there was absolutely nobody. And I did like six laps. And it wasn't even like a continuous six laps because guys I haven't swam in like proper swimming I haven't done proper swimming in about 13 years I think and I haven't swam in almost seven years and the reason behind this is because I'm very petrified of large pools of water and <laughs> the reason being is that I used to go for swimming classes, great. You're swimming with a bunch of people. You're swimming next to the wall. Man, I'm telling you, when the teacher tells you to go into the middle of the lane, you just feel like, no, where is the wall? Um, so the issue is that I start to have a very, very strong imagination when I'm in the swimming pool. And I picture sharks. I picture any creature that could eat me up whether it's because it's hungry or whether it just, you know, it kills for pleasure. I remember one year we watched Pirates of the Caribbean. I think it was number two. Um, the one where there's an octopus that is kind of like swallowing the ship. And when I had to go back to swimming classes, I'm just thinking of that octopus. And the water is quite deep. And I just imagine that that creature is in the pool trying to get to me. And... Because of that fear, I just, and also you, you grow up, so for boys who are not interested, just click off, you get your period. And what happens is that, especially when you're doing sports that are very much influenced by your cycle, a lot of, a lot of girls are, a lot of sports are going to be influenced about because of your period, especially if you stop. Um, so when I started getting my period, you know, you stop going swimming and then sooner or later, just like why even bother? And so it kind of declines in terms of your commitment and discipline. Um, 
So I tried getting back to swimming today and I've gained a lot of weight since then guys because I remember when I'd be in the pool I felt kind of light and today when I went to swim it was like I was a rock. I felt so heavy and so uncomfortable because before I used to feel very much like I was one with the water and um, I just felt as though I don't know how to describe it. I just felt heavy when I was in the pool and you're supposed to feel light. Um, so that just brought into perspective how much weight I've gained and especially not even weight you gain, how unfit you are because that should be the focus because if you're fit, your weight is just naturally supposed to, I'm assuming, is your weight is supposed to just naturally get back into order and I just felt like why did I allow myself to get to this point? So my advice to you youngsters who are thinking about quitting something and are just exhausted with, you know, P.E. I remember hating P.E. I just hated, you know, if I could have, like, hid in the bathroom during high school, during P.E., I would have because I just hated running, hated sweating. Maybe if it was, like, a game that I enjoyed, like, putting the focus outside of, like, trying to exert energy if it's a game it's just something that's fun and enjoyable um so yeah i stopped swimming and today i came out of the swimming pool and i felt like i was like dizzy i felt like i felt like a fish out of water that's what i felt but i felt the same way when i was in the swimming pool so i needed to take a break and what was nice is that there was someone there in the swimming pool um before me it was a man and he looked quite chubby but he was doing it like a pro if not um like i think he looked like a professional um and he was doing laps like continuously i was taking breaks between each lap and then when he left that's when the terror started to sink in i could only do one lap after he left but thank goodness he was there for like the first five laps um but that was my achievement for today and what I'm trying to say through this is that I want to make lifestyle changes. I know some girls feel as though, especially during high school, especially during high school when um, body image becomes, you know, the whole, you know, we, we, we put it on like a pillar, a pedestal rather, and you start to analyze your body critically in a way that you never used to. You could have been fine, but you just feel as though you could always be better. And better isn't always better. Um, and so you go on these crash diets. You eliminate um, some food groups. I know there's people like High Carb Hannah on YouTube. And there's the... Um, I don't know what it's called. The keto diet where you're cutting off carbs. I think that worked well for me. Um, sticking away from carbs. But... I'm starting to realize that I never lose weight intentionally. Like, I'm never consistent. If I set a target, I never actually reach it. Unless it's by accident. Which only happened once. And I've just... You know, at least for the moment, I have reached a point where I don't want to... I don't want to be consumed by trying to reach a weight. Because I suspect, me being me, once you reach that target weight, you'll be like, you know what, we can eat however we want now. And you start to put on the weight. And and then what was it all for? So I feel like I want to live a life where I just make habits, but for long-term purposes, not just to reach a weight now. Like, if I want to have a better heart rate, it's not that I'm trying to get it up to this by this time. I just want to know that throughout my life, I keep taking care of my body in terms of physical health and also eating. Emotional and spiritual and mental health is just for another day. Um, but I want to make a lifestyle out of it. So that's why you're seeing that I'm busy eat, drinking my Kenyan tea. Because I read online that swimmers usually get the munchies after swimming. Um, it's a lot of cardio. And I thought milk 
would just be a good way for me to fill myself up. But they say it takes you 20 minutes to feel like you're full. So don't just gobble down your food. And this is one of the points I'm trying to make. Making changes in such a way that it just becomes natural to you. Because I feel like a lot of us, not I feel like, a lot of us put food like a priority in our lives. Like if we're bored, man, I need to eat. If I'm angry, man, I even need to eat. If I'm watching a movie, I need to eat. Um, and that's how my life has been. I've just been going to food like it's a drug. And it's, I think food, food has been an addiction for me in the sense that I... I don't care about what I eat. I just want to eat what I like and get it right then and there, even if I'm full. I think some people can relate. You buy a packet of chips, a big-ass packet of chips, and you're fine by a certain point. The first bite is always the greatest, and then it goes down. It goes down. People who have done microeconomics, you know what I'm talking about. It goes down, and it reaches a point where you're no longer satisfied, but it's just like my body just just naturally just has to reach out for another crib. It's like we have to reach the end of this bag. My mom would tell me when I'd buy sweets, um, just because you bought something that day doesn't mean you have to finish it. And I'm guilty of that crime of just trying to finish everything I buy. Like I can finish a tub of ice cream and feel nauseous as I'm eating it, but I'll still eat it. And I just feel like a time, the time has come where I need to, you know, hmm, my knee has just been sitting here. Okay, let me take it out. Um, I feel like the time has just come where I need to to take care of take care of myself long term and see food differently. Um, so that's what I wanted to talk about today, even though I only realized it like ten minutes ago. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just wanted to share this video and hope that someone can relate. Um, but anyway, see you in the next video.